The school year, as odd as it was, is coming to a close, but some districts, including New Haven, are already planning what's to come in the fall. They're actually looking for input from parents and their children before everybody heads back to class. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane is live right now. He's in the Elm City with the mobile newsroom and more details for us. Hi, Matt. Uh, hi there, Mark. Well, whether it's going to be in class or distance learning, New Haven's interim superintendent says families can likely prepare for what's going to be a non traditional school year starting in the fall. It's why they've reached out to parents and students, sending them a survey with a number of scheduling options. In big letters, a simple message spelled out from the staff at one New Haven school. And they're not the only ones missing the kids and the classroom. She cried when she can't go to school. So this is real, real hard. And while the city gets set to celebrate its graduates, the district says a task force is already looking forward to how it will reopen this fall. We know school will likely be different and we will continue to provide you with updates as they become available. New Haven's interim superintendent believes daily schedules will be significantly impacted to meet social distancing requirements. But with changes likely, the district is starting to plan and it wants to hear from parents and students on what type of schedule they'd prefer. Even if they don't have all the kids in school, at least uh, a certain percentage, half of the school, half of uh, uh, these grades, and then half of these grades. One option would be an A-B day. Half the student body goes to school Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with distance learning on Tuesday, Thursday. The remaining students would do the opposite schedule, and students would alternate weeks. The second choice is a two-day rotation. All students report for two full days a week. Tuesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Friday. On Monday, teachers would have professional learning and provide assignments to support learning on the days students are not in school. The third choice is an A-B week. Half the student body reports to school for five full days, while the remaining half participates in distance learning at home. Students would then alternate each week. Option four would split elementary and high schools. Under this plan, students in pre-K through eighth grade would do a combination of in-class face-to-face and distance learning, while high schoolers would strictly distance learn. And the last option is distance learning, in which all New Haven students would continue to learn from home until public health officials deem it safe for everyone to come back to the classroom. He prefer to be in class. Yep. He prefer to be in class. And how about mom? What do you like? I prefer him to go to school. Now, the survey is on the district's website. They also emailed and called families. They have to have it filled out by 5 o'clock on next Tuesday. And while they're reaching out to parents want students wanting to see what they would prefer, they stress that uh, the final decision will be made in consultation with the guidelines from the state. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.